these are not allegations being leveled by anybody you heard bl prem sharma himself on camera say he doesn't believe in the constitution he wants to set up a body of extreme hindu fundamentalists who will convert all muslims who will kill them and throw them out of the country mr singhal should someone like this have been given a ticket by your party well i am he had resigned while being in the um, parliament he he didn't complete his term first term i really did and he has no uh, no in, inclination to uh, work as a parliamentarian why he was a, to given a ticket i have no idea so you yourself uh, completely no, no, throwing i have no idea you're, you're disowning him already uh, what what this question you better put to the, the 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 party president or somebody who took the decision of giving him the okay ticket. let me bring in mani shankar ayer he joins us as well mr ayer thank you very much for joining us on the center stage debate what is being said by the sang parivar the bjp and the rss is these are a few fringe elements you cannot tarnish the entire brigade do you think that's a justifiable explanation because what we've exposed today is a national executive member of the rss a two time former mp and they also links with current mps of the bjp do you believe that these are fringe elements or do you feel at some level it reflects the thinking of these right wing fundamentalists I mean, there are clearly different levels of culpability, but instead of finding excuses to distance themselves, if the RSS and the BJP were to be honest, that all these kinds of attitudes spring from their basic philosophy, and that it is because they are running a nationalism that is divisive, that uh, we are having now imitations from different sides. of a certain kind of violence that was sectarian this is not the answer i don't think until the rss and the bjp give up their own forebears and turn towards mahatma gandhi and start looking for a society where all religions are equal where all of us belong and that the hindu nation or hindutva is not equated with bharatiyata and with the indian nation i am afraid these distortions of their mindset into violent challenges will continue and so i would fault them not so much for having the same degree of culpability as a specific terrorist but for promoting a mindset and a philosophy which gives rise from mahatma gandhi's assassination to what we are now seeing in this saffron terrorist network Okay Mr uh, Singhal respond to yeah. this because the point that Mr Ayer is making is the same as Mr Sangvi no, is saying the see, BJP I, and the RSS the point, are not I've, disowning these people I have heard the point and he said we should get to the point where uh, all religions are the same uh, that should be the attitude he said the attitude has to change I agree with tell you that but I would like to know one thing from Vivekananda to uh, uh, Gandhi there have been so many leaders saying all religions uh Uh, through a man can achieve salvation through all religions name me one muslim or one christian who says that very sentence one christian or one muslim who says that sentence that all religions will will uh, give salvation to man one 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 leader of course leader not some ordinary man one muslim and one christian okay for the moment we are is that about the secular aspect of our country where is secularism the uh, four lakh pandits were thrown out of that place without any uh, uh, sakar to, to them and we say we are a secular country huh? what is this kind of secularism no but you are comparing two oh, incomparable no, situations no, we don't understand no, what you are saying compared i'm talking <coughs> about everyone should government should set up you can't do that to a hindu you are doing it because they are hindus now you can't do that government should have come up and fought them back at least put them back but nothing of the kind has taken place